so lucky today to be here in Seoul, Korea with my new friend, Min Sung. And Min Sung was the uh, interpreter over the last two days for the Hug Your Baby program that we did here in Seoul. And it was a really exciting and en engaging event, mostly because Min Sung made it happen being able to uh, translate from uh, English into <laughs> But the reason we wanted to also do this video today is that um, Min just finished her master's thesis on a subject that we all know is very important, which is that of postpartum depression. And how do we accurately look for and assess and treat postpartum depression? Actually, my uh, topic was experience of and risk factor for Asian immigrant mothers, Australia, the USA, the UK, and Canada. And I guess all of us uh, are familiar with a, a lot of the research on the importance that postpartum depression can have, both the short and the long-term implications for the mother and for the baby. And in the United States, we are very accustomed to using the Edinburgh as the, the main tool to look for postpartum depression. And I was really surprised by some of the um, information you gathered about that perhaps not being such an accurate tool with our uh, Asian immigrants. When I um, gather information for background, I found out that um, Edinburgh postpartum depression scale may not be stored for Asian group. It's because it doesn't include the uh, fact of somatization. And by somatization, you're talking about a woman's um, expression of depression being mostly a physical expression. For example, they can have a headache or a stomach pain or the other issues that they are not trained to express depressive symptom in the world. They, like, they sort of train to express the depression in body symptom. Mm -hmm. Some Asian women um, are trained to not to talk about depressive um, or negative things. In my literature review, I found out that some women even not uh, have the concept of depression. Certainly, if we get a normal invert, then necessarily assume, assume that a woman was not depressed. We might need to think more broadly about her symptoms. Yes, that's true. My interview, one article says that the prevalence, prevalence mm -hmm. of postpartum depression cannot be defined because from 0% to 60% because we have a different concept of health and different concept of depression. Yes. And so we really don't know accurately how many of our Asian women really have postpartum depression. That's true. And then certainly if we're not diagnosing the problem, then we probably are not in a situation to provide adequate support and help. That's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. Such a wonderful joy to uh, make friends with me and we look forward to seeing her in our country.